to me this is very clearly uh, authenticity because what I have seen is that uh, we caught up the, the human potential right from the beginning and we corrupted by asking people to wear a mask to be something that they are not and by doing that we make them rebel we make them subservient we make them stupid because you know you can't play someone else's song you can play your song if you're a mango tree you can't pretend to be a banana tree you can only be a mango tree <laughs> and so i really and that's really the foundation of my work and the foundation of what i believe about life I was brought like everyone else, I was brought up like, you know, you, you imitate a model. Huh? And in spirituality, it's the same business, you, you imitate a model, you imitate a Buddha, you imitate a Christ, you imitate God, whoever you want to worship, <laughs> just pretend to be them. <laughs> and it's just another mess, because that's false. This is falsehood. And then I discovered that if I was stopping imitating, and if I was really going inside myself and accepting, then, then I was performing proper. I was a good human being. I was delivering service. I was doing good stuff and I was happy. So I think it's really the, the foundation uh, to... But it's a big thing because uh, very few people are prepared to, to embrace authenticity. And it's a pity because it's magnificent. In authenticity, there is the, the, the beauty of the human potential and, it's, uh, and the goodwill and the... Uh, I don't know why Freud told us that we were essentially bad. <laughs> the Bible told us that. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not like this. We are essentially fantastic. Mm. 